What up, YouTube? This is Supercharged iOS. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add the cache from your XBMC to the internal storage of your device or computer. Now, I'm going to be doing this on the G Box Midnight MX2, but this will work on any device. It doesn't matter. It's going to work the same way on the Booyah computer. It doesn't really matter. So what you need to do is you need to launch the X Unity Maintenance Tool. And if you don't have the X Unity Maintenance Tool already installed, I'll have a link in the description as well as on the screen during this video. So you can go ahead and add it to your device and then you'll be ready to follow. But once you have it installed, just go ahead and launch it. And you want to go to Tweaks and you want to scroll down to Add Zero Cache Advanced XML. Just go ahead and select that one. And right here, you want to just go ahead and go to yes. Select that and let the process complete. And what it's going to do when the process is complete is when you watch video files on XBMC and you generate cache, it's now it's going to put it straight to your device's internal storage or your computer's hard drive instead of just a small file on XBMC, which you always have to clear your cache constantly, which is very annoying. With this method, it will allow you to just continually fill cache up on your hard drive. So however much hard drive you have on your computer or however much internal storage you have on your Ouya or G-Box or whatever device you're using XBMC on, it'll now add the cache files to that internal storage of that device or computer. So from now on, when you're streaming something, it's no longer going to only cache a little bit of the TV show or movie. From now on, if you leave it on pause long enough, it will download the entire TV show or movie. So you won't have to worry about it buffering anymore because now it's got the ability to save the cache file to a much larger place than it did before. So I'll go ahead and give you a little demonstration of what, of what I mean. Because normally if you play a video file or TV show, if you press pause, it's only going to download a little bit of the show and or TV or movie, and and you'll just have to press play, and then before you know it, it could be it could be buffering in no time, and it really does suck if you're trying to, especially if you're trying to watch something HD, because HD files tend to take up so much more cache space. So from now on, you'll be able to do that. And depending on your storage of your device, of course, you would need some storage room in order to, to cache files like 1080p and 3D movies. Let's go ahead and I'll start and pause this since it's a 30-minute show. It won't take that long. And once this starts, I'll hurry up and press pause. And I'll also edit this part of the video out. All right, so I've had it paused for about five minutes now. And the video file has been cached just about halfway. So in the future, if ever you want to watch a 1080p or 3D movie file, then you'll be able to do it now because now the cache file will go straight to the internal storage of your device or computer. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This was a quick video showing you how to add the cache files to the internal storage of your computer or device. Hope this video was helpful. Please like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS and also follow me at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.